guys, we're back with another video. So, today is National Comic Book Day, if you don't know. Um, I mean, there's a bit of a difference, because if you look up, like, National Comic Book Day, it'll say May 2nd, or something, because, uh, Free Comic Book Day. But, that's, you know, Free Comic Book Day is where you get free comic books. But today is just, like, National Comic Book Day, which celebrates, you know, like, all of comic book history and whatnot. So there's a bit of a difference, and not many people know about this day, because it is kind of overshadowed by Free Comic Book Day. But I think it's pretty important. So, in honor of National Comic Book Day, I figured it'd be kind of cool. I went to the store, like, Saturday, got some stuff. So, you're going to find out what I got. A little bit of a comic book haul, if you will. So, one of the things I got is this comic book history of comics. Um, I haven't really read it. Uh, I've only read, like, four issues out of all these. Because um, I got a lot of single issues, but, um... I was mostly going to go through those, then I was going to, you know, go to the, uh, bigger, like, trade paperbacks and stuff. And then I'm also really excited about this. I got Hellboy Volume 1. This is my, I'm pretty excited because this is my first Hellboy comic, because, um, uh, yeah. I mean, I've got, uh, some sort of a, uh, like an actual like, novel of Hellboy somewhere, but that's my first actual comic book of Hellboy. Then I got all of these. We got Daredevil 188. The issue of Electro Dies. This is just a reprint. It's not the actual issue, so don't freak out or anything. I noticed that the the store had like some older issues. Um, I got Batman 232. Another reprint. I got Symbiote Spider Man by Peter David, issue one. We got Separation Anxiety, which I also had the video game, issue one. We got Symbiote of Vengeance, issue one. Miles Morales, Absolute Carnage. I forget which issue this is. Issue 1, of course. I mostly tried to stay away from, like, other issues. I tried to make sure it's... If I go to the store, I make sure it's at issue 1. If I really like the cover, maybe I'll get it. But, Fantastic Four, Yancey Street. I figure that... I mean, I like the Fantastic Four. It's not written by Dan Slott, so... Never know. I got History of Marvel Comics... Issue 3. I'm really excited about that one. And I got issue 4. The, uh, or issue 2, my bad. The, uh, cover on this one's a little bent. But, it's bent backwards a little bit. But, oh well. This one I really liked. Marvel Comics 1000. I haven't read the full thing, but it's really cool if you haven't read it before. It's just, um, you know, basically the history. Um, it's kind of like the same thing as the history of Marvel Comics, but it's like, a more uh, streamlined, I guess you could say. I got Catwoman. Uh, I don't know why it says it like that. Catwoman. Issue 15. Really like that cover. We got Batman 181. The first appearance of Poison Ivy. Another reprint, of course. And then we got Daredevil Issue 11 by uh, Chip Sardesky. That one was pretty good, too. Um... We've got Sinestro Volume One or Issue One. We've got Gwenpool Strikes Back Issue Number Two. I mostly got that one because the Fantastic Four are on the cover. And they're probably like my favorite superhero team. We got Moon Knight. Issue. Um, yep. Issue, um. Yep, it's a, it's an issue. Uh, again, I don't really have very many Moon Knight comics. So I figured I'd add to the collection. We got Spider Woman. Number, number one. 
So I, why not? You know, it's pretty, pretty nifty. Another reprint, of course. Uh, we got The Amazing Spider-Man, Venom number one. Um, this one's really interesting. I mostly got it because it's got like 3D glasses. I was pretty, and it's got that classic cover, of course. Really interested by that. So I'm like, why not, you know? Nothing like celebrating the 90s with your gimmick covers and stuff. Uh, this one, I'm kind of disappointed I, get the, I didn't get the other ones. But I was really excited about the uh, the series. The Life of Spider-Man life story. I got issue 5. But I wanna, I'm want i going to try to get the other ones. Because um, this is just like the 2000s. I know there's one for like the 90s, the 80s, 70s, 60s. So I'm going to try to get the rest of those. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. And then yeah, we got Spider-Man issue 1. Um, I don't know what the deal with this one is. I mean, I know it says issue 1, but uh, I like the cover. And I don't know who the like the writer is on this one. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man 29. I saw that cover like on somebody's Instagram, I think. So I'm like, why not? I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. My apologies. We got Shazam. I'm not sure what issue this is. And we have She-Hulk. Issue 1. So, yeah. Um, there's all my comics. Wait a second. We also got Spider-Man Noir. The, I think this is like the complete, the complete collection, yeah. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, that's all the comments I got from the comic book store on Saturday. Figured it'd be fun to do a little bit of a comic book haul. I'm sorry about all the background noise, but, you know, that's the way life is sometimes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.